O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins. Oh my because God, I dread the loss of heaven. I'm heartily sorry oh for having offended thee. I'm heartily sorry all, for having offended thee. And I detest, all, and thee, my and God. I detest all, all my sins. All good and deserving of because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they have offended thee. Confess my sins, all good and deserving. Do penance, who are all good and deserving. I firmly resolve, Amen. with the help of Thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. something else is troubling you, and that is why you've come to confess after all these years. Why don't you tell me what's really bothering you? Hey, please don't go. sister, she had me, she was pregnant. She had these cravings that needed to be appeased right away and I told her I would bring her to the store. I would go to the store with her. And, and, but she needed her goddamn tuna and Hershey syrup. I'm sorry. She had um, neurofibromatosis. Uh, and F. She had these seizures. If only if I would have just driven from the game a little bit earlier, or if I just want to meet her stupid Hershey syrup. <laughs> but now she's gone. She was only 24. My daughter, she has it too. But her case is so much more severe. She has a brain tumor and it's pressing into her eye and she's going to go blind because of it. And it's, um, it's not operational. I found this guy through the internet. Um, he said he could find a drug that could heal the tumor. The drug was an FDA approved. You next for confession? Yeah, but you go first. I'll just come back later. No! Calm down, my child. How about I come to the hospital and deliver an ointment of the sick sacrament to her? She has, um, she has a treatment at two. Can you come before that? You should come now? Yes. I will go shortly. I will take the bus. I can drive. Well, I'm hearing, I'm hearing confessions till 1 today, so I will take the 115 bus. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. What are your sins, my child? Uh, okay, well, I work for this chemist dude, and uh, we can get stuff, you know, like anything you want. Experimental shit, hallucinogenics. I mean, anything. Okay. What kind of work do you do for this chemist? I make deliveries, that's it. 
about a week ago I was supposed to drop off the drug to this guy for a brain tumor and some other drugs to the guy for insomnia, but I know I switched up the order and I don't have any contact information about these people. Only my boss does. And if I don't say anything, they'll never get the right drugs. And if I tell my boss, he's gonna fire me and I, I can't lose this job. It's the best money I ever made. I think you know what the right thing is to do here. But Father, I seriously think this guy will kill me. He can't afford to have people knowing about his operation and he'd rather off me than have me go to the cops. I'm just a liability at this point. Sometimes doing the right thing requires sacrifice on your part. I can't tell you what choice to make, but I can advise you to spend time thinking about this. Think of the sacrifices Jesus made for all of us. Pray to the Lord to guide you. The Lord will forgive you, especially if you make the right decision. Say eight Hail Marys when you leave and five Our Fathers. I'm actually done with confessions today. Please come and meet really quickly. I really have to go. I have to deliver a blessing to a sick child. Perhaps we could do this tomorrow. Please, could we just meet now? I don't know if I'm ever going to work up the courage to come back again. I feel really lost and I just need to talk. All, all right. I'll take the bus after this one. So what troubles you, my child? Basically, I feel like I'm a murderer. What happened, my child? Last week I went to the grocery store to help my mom out. She's been really stressed out lately with my little brother Thomas. He's five years old and has ADD, so you know it's been really hard for her. So I went to the store and I had to buy clear juice because Thomas is doing this thing where he throws his juice anywhere and everywhere and it's really hard to get the red stains out. So when I was there, the fall triggered a seizure. She died because of my clumsiness. My child, three facets make up a sin. The act must be objectively evil. The person must know that it is evil, and then the person must will the act to be committed. Your accident resulted in tragedy, but the Lord loves you still, and doesn't even consider your actions to be sinful. You are not responsible for this woman's death. I think it would help you to return to the scene of the accident to face and accept what has happened. And while you're there, ask for God to help you through this. The strength that you don't think you have will be provided by the Lord. I think she's getting weaker. She's sleeping more and more. Do it on purpose. Come on, bro. You know me. Fine.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hail Mary, thy kingdom full come, of grace, thy will be the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. <laughs>